speaker, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I know the hour is late. Um, I think members clearly described the purpose of the loan and what the loan will do, Mr. Speaker. But one thing, Mr. Speaker, about, and I want to re-emphasize what the Minister for Investment said. The leader of the opposition, in trying to dirty the water, makes the point that the only reason why we are guaranteeing the loan is because the bank believes that the NLA cannot pay the loan back. That's why we are guaranteeing, Mr. Speaker. You see, you see what I mean, Member for Chosel, by deliberate misinformation? Deliberate misinformation. The member came here and he guaranteed a loan for 115 million US dollars, I think, for Slaspo. Is it because Slaspo couldn't pay back the loan? And he was boasting that he had a revenue streams, stream. Is it, is it because Slaspo could not pay the loan? How many loans have we come here to guarantee for statutory bonds? How many loans? But again, misinformation would make it look as if there's something sinister in the government coming here and to guarantee a loan as a contingent liability, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm not going to go in, in the strategy to a sports that was ventilated by the Minister for Sports, Mr. Speaker. I'm not going to go into the playing field. I want to assure the member for Viewport South that his facility is going to be going to be fixed, Mr. Speaker. And then it's going, I want to assure him that his facility is going to be fixed, Mr. Speaker. And I know he said he had to leave because he had some urgent business to do. But I hope you can, Mr. Speaker, we are ready. We have the money to do it. And if he wants, you can start it before the year. You got the money? You saw the ministry ticket back yet? You have the money? All right. So he's telling me we can start it next week once he sends the contractor. I can do that. So, Mr. Speaker, he'll get his, his he'll get his facility, Mr. Speaker. I mean, and Mr. Speaker, um, just something on cage, on the agreement, Mr. Speaker. And the member for Castro Central said so. I will not come here and condemn any businessman who gets a deal and, deal and takes a deal, Mr. Speaker. I will never condemn any businessman because you're in business to make profit. And if you, if you get a government, you can fool. If you get a minister of finance, you can take the whole treasury from. You must they take advantage of it, Mr. Speaker. So I always make the point that any businessman who has the opportunity to get a blight from the, from the government must take it. The government must be responsible enough to defend the people of the country, Mr. Speaker. So I don't, I understand what's happening there. So Mr. Speaker, I just want to tell you that I did not give the entire list of facilities that will be repaired because the Minister of Sports will, will, will do that. The facilities that I mentioned are facilities that are going to be directly involved in Cricket World Cup. Member for Shosel, the facilities I mentioned are the facilities that are going to be directly involved in, in, ice, in the World Cup. Directly. Darren Sami, Mindu Fidel Park, and Grozy Day are going to be the, the two practice grounds, and Darren Sami, where the matches are going to be played, Mr. Speaker. And just on note, Mr. Speaker, of the competition, there is a Caribbean island that is spending $300 million of a World Cup. That's the competition. And when we come here and we play as if we know what's happening in the world and talking on one side of our mouth and accusing people, Mr. Speaker, accusing people, there's one Caribbean island that's spending $300 million on World Cup, Mr. Speaker. So um, I, I'm asking honorable members to support this resolution. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.